Has anyone ever told you to exercise your brain? Many people even claim that the brain is like a muscle that needs exercise and like any other muscle will become bigger the more it's used. Now of course the brain isn't that simple, but many neuroscientists and psychologists believe that the brain does become larger as a result of our experiences. Rosenzweig, Bennett, and Diamond performed a study to examine this idea. Now what these scientists did was they devised an experiment in which they selected three rats from the same litter and randomly assigned them to three different conditions. One condition was called the enriched environment where the rat was placed into a very large cage with six other rats, lots of space to run around in, and lots of different toys to play with. The enriched condition was designed to stimulate the rat so that it could have lots of different experiences. Now, the second rat was placed in a neutral, standard environment in a medium-sized cage with just a few other rats. And the third rat was placed in an experienced poor environment, meaning that he lived by himself in a very small cage. All three rats had enough food and enough water to drink. The rats were allowed to mature, and after a specified amount of time, they were killed and their brains were dissected and studied. Now the results of this study showed that the environment did in fact have a pretty significant effect on the size of the rats' brains. In the enriched experienced rats, the cerebral cortex, which in case you don't know is responsible for maintaining the senses, memory, movement, learning, and your environmental response, it was increased in size and density and other parts of the brain in the enriched rat didn't show the same increase. The size of the neurons increased as well as the size of the synapses between the neurons. The increase in synapse size is especially significant because most brain activity takes place uh, at the synapse. However, the number of neurons in the rat's brains did not differ, only the size of the neurons. The enzyme called acetylcholinesterase was also found in greater quantities in the brain of the enriched rats. This enzyme is responsible for faster impulse transmission through the neurons. So as they expected, the brains of the rats living in the normal and experienced poor environments showed little or no change in brain size or chemistry. This experiment strongly suggested that more experiences do actually lead to physical changes in the brain. And in general, the brains of the rats that lived in nourished environments showed more brain activity, more of the enzyme that we talked about, and subsequently larger brains. However, it's difficult to make correlations that the same increases occur in humans or other living beings.